Let's now talk about customer discounts. Perhaps you do offer discounts to your customers when you create an invoice or a sales receipt. First, you're going to need to check the gear and your accountant settings and make sure that you do have discounts turned on. We'll go to sales and in this area here you can see discount and you can see that we do have that turned on. If you did not have it turned on, click the edit icon and then here make sure that the discount is turned on. So let's create let's create a sales receipt for our customer because they're paying us at the time of service. We're going to create this for Dylan and I'm going to say weekly gardening for Dylan and three hours and my normal rate is $25 an hour so $75 but I'm going to give him a discount of $10. Here you can see discount and right now it's at percent but I said $10. So we click the arrow down and say discount value and now we can change it to $10. And now the six, his bill has been reduced by $10 down to $65. You may be wondering where this goes to on your profit and loss report. It actually shows up as discounts as a negative income account called the contra account so that you will be able to see how much you have given in discounts also if we mark this line taxable at this point the customer would be paying sales tax on the entire seventy five dollars if we want the customer to pay sales tax after the discount if we click these arrows, then it changes this, which changed to be a subtotal of $65 in paying the California 8% sales tax on the 65 rather than the 75 So let's see that again. If I change the arrows here, he's paying sales tax before the discount. Change the arrows, sales tax after the discount. So that is how we create discounts and apply them before or after the sales tax. And save and send, save and close, or save and new, whatever it is you, you need to do next.